So we are all familiar with this uh, image of an assembly line, for example, a water bottle assembly line, in which specialized workers can detect you know, problems with a, with a bottle, like no cap or a different shape. So we now know that cells do a similar thing with their proteins. And uh, that's the process that we are trying to understand, in particular for membrane and secreted proteins that are made on a cellular compartment, compartment called the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER. So we know that in the ER, proteins that cannot acquire the, the proper shape that is required for their function are detected and eliminated. But we still don't understand how this process works. And we know that um, defects in, um, in detecting and eliminating these, these um, misfits and the problematic proteins has some consequences for the, for the health of the cell and sometimes for the individual. So that's one of the processes that we are studying. In, in parallel, we know that the ER is also the place for the synthesis of lipids. And uh, lipids can also be, can be structural lipids or can be lipids that are stored and can be used in a later stage, for example, for uh, membrane uh, generation or energy production. So the, the, the precursor molecule that originates structural lipids or lipids that are stored is the same. But how the cells decide whether to make one or the other is not com completely understood. And so and this is uh, the other process that, that in which we are trying to, 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 to investigate. So how does the cell decide to store lipids? And once they decide that the cell decides to store lipids, how these, these lipids are transferred to, to the storage compartment? Functions, understanding how these different functions uh, are integrated in a cellular compartment like the endoplasmic reticulum might have some important consequences to understanding uh, of um, different diseases.